Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new Jigokuraku video and yes I just finished re-watching the first ever episode of Jigokuraku yes re-watching because in the early morning I already watched it once and that is the first time I was like god damn this is nice and right after re-watching it again I still think it's an impressive episode I love it so yeah I am not a manga reader I am an anime only watcher so please don't no spoiler in the comment section and bro the first episode is so nice first of all the main character himself is already cool enough and I live for that type of character so I can't wait to see how his character will be developed throughout his whole journey for this particular anime and for the animation well obviously Mappa did not disappoint but this is not your typical high quality like every single scene got some kind of sakuga whatsoever not every single scene need to have sakuga but in this particular episode the amount of sakuga or great looking or smooth looking animation the amount of it in this episode doesn't really have that much which is hmm but oh well it's quite understandable since the production is pretty much unstable right now but the fact that the story actually is good and with the art background the visual itself the cinematography in this episode as well everything in this particular episode feels just right for me not something that is super crazy whatsoever this is that time of all right the first episode you don't need to be super strong whatsoever they just goes all right this is jigokuraku Obviously, this is not something that will be super iconic in the future, but again, I really, really enjoyed the first ever episode of Jigokuraku. If possible, I will be rewatching it again later with my friend as well. Like, I wouldn't be bored watching this episode because the content itself is already interesting enough, and the concept of going to the underworld and then finding some potential people to actually, um, goes with her. With her, I'm referring to Yamada Asaemon, which is a very cool character. Like, I am very curious to see how these two characters will actually go with their journey. Again, the opening itself looks visually incredible. I'm not really rocking with the song, but maybe it will grow on me. But the ending is so nice though. Ending song, by the way, ending theme song. The ending visual is not that animated. Again, production unstable, I guess. <laughs> But overall, this is a very impressive episode. Everything just feels right. I really love every single thing about this particular first episode. If I can, I would like to praise them more, but man, everything seems great for me. Even without a high amount of Sakuga or great looking animation in it, it is still enjoyable to watch, which is something that I've been trying to find in an anime. This is what you call a great anime. It's not carried by animation, even story itself is so interesting to watch that you forgot about how good the animation needs to be for an anime. But again, it's not your typical Chainsaw Man type of quality, but still, it is a very enjoyable first episode to watch. Gabi Maru himself, I really love his personality, man. I can't wait to see more of him. I'm definitely going to be caught up to this particular anime every single week. And also, if you guys are interested, I'll be making a Tengoku Daimakyo a review video as well because I actually did watch that. And this is um, the opposite of Jigokuraku. <laughs> not really, it's just because of the title because one is Hell's Paradise and the other is heaven's heavenly delusion um yeah let me know if you guys want me to make a video about tengoku daimakyo if you guys don't want to watch it then it's fine but yeah thank you very much for watching this video also buy me a coffee link in the description of today's video <laughs> i sound like i'm begging anyways thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye